when you read eight straight books of the same author and the same characters, you just can't leave them. I have tried to be strong. I knew this was coming. I knew to try to prepare. You guys told me to read Reach. <sighs> No, I can't do this. Xander, I don't want to listen to you talk, so. <laughs> then you guys said Beautiful Redemption. Okay! <laughs> Too much emotional trauma right now. I can't go from Percy to, to emotional trauma. I'm already upset. Touch of power. Let's, let's do that one. Hmm. I like this. I wonder what Percy's doing right now. Should try this one. We haven't tried this one yet. Let's try this one. Oh my god, this is funny! I like this! Wow, this is healthy! I'm enjoying a book! And it doesn't have Percy in it. It's not written by Rick Gordon. Stepping forward. Stepping forward. I'm gonna take a little break. Let's let's go on Tumblr. Tumblr. Ooh, let's find some Percy Jackson vlogs. Let's do that. Follow, follow, follow. Before I know it, following about 10 new Percy Jackson vlogs on Tums. That's... I'm fine. I'm healthy. I'm normal. That's a normal thing to do. Don't judge me. Ooh! Christine, have you read the Percy Jackson files in the Demigod Diaries yet? What? And then immediately, it just, I couldn't think about anything else. I had already ordered the Keen Chronicles offline, so in the back of my mind, I was just waiting for those to come in the mail, because I just really wanted to read. I can't, I just, I want to read all Rick Gordon's books, so I can just put those, I don't have that option anymore. And, because it's not fair to other books, when all I can think about is reading the Rick Gordon books. I learned about these Demigod Diaries and these Percy Jackson files, and I can't not get them. And here they are. I also watched the Percy Jackson movie. Gonna make a separate video about that because that has a lot of ranting points that I want to discuss with you. First we have the Percy Jackson The Demigod Files. It's a little midget book. It's cute. The pages are kind of uneven. So the first story in this is Percy Jackson and the Stolen Chariot. Percy helped Clarice get back Ares chariot when it was stolen. Then we have Percy Jackson and the Bronze Dragon, which was a really fun story because we didn't know Festus was here before. I didn't know how that ever exactly originated, but they find Festus and there's these huge ants and there's some pre percival dating tension. Then we have a story about Percy Jackson and the Sword of Hades. Sword of Hades, if you didn't read the story, was just forged by Demeter because she wanted Hades to be more powerful because he's not as powerful as Poseidon and Zeus. And into the sword, she put the key to the doors of death, to controlling the opening and closing of the doors. Does it sound familiar? Vaguely having to do with what's going on in this series here, does it? It does. Percy and Thalia and Nico have to go rescue it. On the way, we see the river Leith, which is another river in hell, and this river erases your memories, erases everything forever. You're just a baby again. There's this awesome scene where they have to cross it, and Percy's all wounded and stuff, but he manages to raise it like Moses, man. Then we have the Demigod Diaries, which is designed to appear like Luke's diary, because Luke kept a diary. I think Luke's one of you when he was on the run with Thalia, and we see them find Annabeth. We get to see how Luke got the knife that he gave to Annabeth, because that actually was not his knife. We also get this great Percy Beth story when they had just started dating, and then finally, we have a story from Leo's point of view, and it's when he's making the Argo the second. It's magical. It's good stuff. This, I, I'm glad I read them. I have gotten this in the mail for Christmas and I am so excited about it. And then I also hung up my Hercules poster, even though I hate Hercules. That's how much I missed Percy and I wanted the reminder that I know him on my wall and Rick Rodden's name. So it's hanging up. Yep. Yep. Anyway, thank you for watching. I'm Christine. Just some housekeeping today. You know, YouTube has changed its format and it's pretty freaking not convenient for us creators because you don't see the videos when they come up and it's really upsetting. As a creator, the funnest part, funnest is a word in my mind, is the launch. Because you spend so much time making the video and then the launch to see how people respond and to interact with people is the best. Comments and everything like that. But when people can't see your video, people don't watch your video, and your subscribers, the people who do like to comment and converse with you, aren't there. Oh, so I'm just gonna urge you 
to follow me on one of my social networks. I mean, if you like the videos. That way you can see when I put out a video instead of getting lost in the new feed. I have a Facebook, facebook.com slash Productions. I have a Tumblr, polmanas20.tumblr.com. And all the links are down there. And I have a Twitter, twitter.com slash may. So whatever one floats your boat, man. Thank you so much for supporting my videos and for watching and discussing with me. I'll see you soon. Bye for now.